All right, guys, welcome back. Um, this is going to be part three of a three-part demo for doing the double exposure. Again, our last move here is just to bring the mountain and the clouds into the composition and also to change the background color uh, to gray. And so this one we're going to kind of be uh, bouncing around between uh, the three uh, top layers and their respective layer masks. So I'm going to go back to where I am right now with this uh, demo. And so the move that I'm going to make right now is I'm going to make a copy of my mountain layer. So again, to make a copy, control J, I select the mountain layer, control J, I've got my mountain copy. I'm going to click on the layer mask, so right click on it, and then I can hit delete layer mask. And so what that ends up doing is it's just removing that layer mask that I don't need. And we're going to actually um, bring this uh, into the background by doing a few, a few specific things. First, we're gonna change the blending mode from normal down to lighten because that's the one that we're actually using. And then what I'm gonna actually do is go to my background color um, adjustment layer and I'm gonna double click on it, which allows the little eyedropper to come out. And I'm gonna select a color in the back of the guy's head here. I'm, I'm looking for that gray kind of sky color and I'll just click on that. The thing that you notice right away is like the magic starts to happen. We start to see uh, some of this, um, the clouds like kind of erupting from the back of the guy's head here. There's still some cleanup that needs to take place, but we're going to get to that in a little bit. So I'm going to hit OK. Background layer, adjustment layer is set. Now, <coughs> in my mountain copy um, layer, I'm going to create a new layer mask, but in this case, I want to hide everything and then start to bring things in. And so to hide everything with the loading of the layer mask, I'm gonna fill it automatically with black. And you can do that simply by holding Alt, the Alt key, and then click on the layer mask icon. Again, notice I'm on the mountain copy layer. I'm holding Alt and I'm clicking on the layer mask icon. Immediately, you know, everything disappears. Um, the layer mask is working appropriately. And now to make parts uh, reveal to have those clouds reveal again. I'm going to use white because it's the opposite of the layer mask um, to actually bring it in. So notice my foreground color is black right now. I'll hit X. That toggles it back to white. And then in my mountain copy layer, I can start to click and drag. My opacity is set to 20. I'm going to just bring that up to 100% just so I can see things happen. And you can see these clouds just start to kind of come in. Um, in a fun way. So I want to bring the clouds in. I don't want to. I don't really want to bring much more than the clouds in there. You can notice the little tip of the mountain starts to show up here as well. So I'm going to jump to one of my other um, layers to bring that in. So again, just kind of bringing those clouds in. It's looking good. Just clicking around. This like little edge detail here of the mountains I want to get rid of, so I'm going to hit X again and just kind of paint that out. Again, kind of maintain the clouds because you want to have the clouds in there. You just don't want to have the edge of the, the ridge of that mountain kind of sticking out there. Notice as well like how this uh, the tip of the mountain kind of fits the back of his head. It kind of looks cool there, so let's see if we can maintain that as well. Now back edge of uh, this guy's head kind of shows up so let's see if we can get rid of some of that so we can kind of see some things are showing up here um, on my mountain copy I'm obscuring the eye a little bit so with black I can paint that out a little bit there as well just so we can see the eye there all right and then let's get into our figure copy layer so I'm on my top layer my top layer, I think, is where this head is actually showing through. So um, to make the image hide, I'm going to paint in black. Opacity is at 100. And that's not going away. So then let's see if it's on my mountain layer. If I want it to show, I'm going to paint in white. All right, there we go. That makes more sense. So again, I'm on the mountain layer, and I didn't really bring in much of the clouds here on the mountain layer. So now I can kind of bring in more of those like smoky, shadowy colors. 
and particularly here, this is where the magic happens with the head. I'm gonna bring uh, the tip of the mountain into this guy's head. Notice my opacity is at 100. I'm probably gonna drop that back down to 20, just so I'm not making big grand movements. And we can just bring in some more kind of shadows into those clouds there. It's looking pretty good. <coughs> Now, the last thing I need to do is just clean up uh, this front part of the figure. And so, again, on the mountain layer, I can make some of this stuff like hide away. Black is going to hide it. Right now, I have white in my foreground, so I'm going to hit X to get my black in the foreground. And as I click lightly, you can see the edge of that mountain starts to disappear. I'm bringing more of like the hair in here. And again, this is where you're going to have to use your artistic discretion to get the right blend between the figure and the background. Notice this little white edge right there. I suspect that that's on the mountain copy layer. So again, if I want to hide that, I'm going to use black. I'm going to put that up to 100, see if that speeds up that process. And indeed, it was on the mountain copy layer, so that disappears there. And again, returning to the mountain layer, I can kind of work the mountain between this guy's face. Again, to hide, I'm going to use black. And I'm going to set it to 20% so it doesn't remove it immediately. So that's going to be the last move there. Kind of like working between the two images, trying to bring um, some kind of balance between the two of them. This is warranting, like this, this particular step uh, warrants a good amount of time. So I would say like go back and forth until you get this like perfect blend of the two. <coughs> And then once you get to that like perfect little blend, then I would say hit save and submit and get that thing going. One last thing, I wanna see if like maybe this needs to disappear. Hit X. Just get rid of that little like line going back there. Kinda of work between the two parts to get that perfect blend. So there we go. This guy's got a rocky cliff for a forehead. He's got clouds coming out of his head. If there was one thing I would do, I'd probably see if I could expand the composition a little bit more to the right, um, just so those clouds are actually in the full uh, frame. But there you go. Part three of three, double exposure using both placement by putting the figure in the center of the composition and transformation, transforming the figure from a human into a mountain.